To another trending story, this one hitting the wallets of Canadians. Bread is a staple in probably every household in this country. Well, one of Canada's largest bakery giants has been fined $50 million for scheming up a plot to raise bread prices. It's called criminal price fixing. Canada Bread Company admitted that it arranged with its competitor, Weston Foods, to increase prices for various bagged and sliced bread products, such as sandwich bread, rolls, and hot dog buns. The scheme inflated the price of bread in Canada for years. So now the company has to pay up. These price increases took place when Canada Bread was majority owned and controlled by Maple Leaf Foods. Joining us now to talk about criminal price fixing is food policy professor Sylvain Charlebois from Dalhousie University. Professor, we've been watching this scandal play out for a few years now. Is criminal price fixing and scheming with competitors unusual in the food industry, at least that we know of? Well, I, I thought it was um, a few years ago, but uh, I'm not sure anymore. Because um, uh, we now have three companies who've have admitted guilt in uh, in price fixing, and there are still uh, five other companies who are being investigated. And uh, at the time, uh, it was hard to believe that this uh, these kinds of things would actually happen in Canada, but uh, but it is happening. Uh, what's really concerning is that uh, it's not really uh, because of of the Competition Bureau's work that we're seeing some of these. Uh, admissions, it's really because companies are coming forward. Uh, so you had Loblaws, uh, Weston, and yesterday we have uh, we had Canada Bread, which used to be owned by Maple Leaf Foods, and we still have several other companies who have denied everything, uh, and that would be uh, Walmart, Giant Tiger, uh, Sobeys, and Metro. In 2017, we saw Loblaws and Weston, same company, basically admitting, and they gave $25 to every Canadian a, as an apology. Uh, that was the first time we ever heard about it. And of course, at the time, they basically threw the entire industry under the bus, saying that other companies are also guilty, but every, everyone denied, including Canada Bread. Now, Canada Bread was owned by Maple Leaf Foods during the uh, bread price fixing era, if you will. Uh, uh, Grupo Bimbo is now the owner out of Mexico. Uh, apparently, Maple Leaf Foods never told the group, the Mexican group, that uh, they were involved in this bread scandal. Bread is a staple food product for the rich and poor in this country. And for so many Canadians, this feels even more like a terrible, lousy, cheap shot for a company to take. How do we know that this food inflation we're seeing now isn't a result of corporate greed? Well, we don't know for sure. Uh, but what I can tell you is that uh, the uh, food inflation that we've seen in recent months is really a global phenomena. Um, it's it's it. I think it's something totally different, to be honest. Uh, so there's a difference between a global phenomena uh, and uh, and greed and price fixing. And and I actually do. While I think that the greedflation campaign was a little silly in Canada, I do believe that the Canadian food industry has has a problem. Uh, the culture uh, actually uh, has. Uh, embraces price fixing, uh, has normalized price fixing, if you will, over the years. Uh, so certainly I think Canadians have every right to be concerned about what's happening right now. Do you think a $50 million fine is enough to deter other food companies from thinking about doing something like this? Well, it depends how you look at it. If you actually think that 50 million represents the amount of money that the company made uh, during the uh, bread price fixing era. The answer is no. We actually estimate that the average family in Canada overpaid bread uh, anywhere between 350 to 400 dollars over 14 years. So if you count the number of families in Canada, it's way more than 50 million dollars. Uh, and even if you add the $25 that was given by Loblaws a few years ago, it's still not enough. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us, Professor. My pleasure.